Welcome to another 64 Bourbons Under $100, where we're on the quest to find the best bourbon under 100 bucks. What you're getting ready to watch is a compilation of the $50 to $75 category, mm -hmm. episodes 5 through 8. Yep, and if you want to catch those daily, you can watch them on YouTube Shorts, Instagram, and TikTok. Let's get into it. All we know is this is Bourbon A. Oh, love, love Ooh. that nose. Buttery. A baking batter and cinnamon. Cherries, caramel, a little bit of cooked apples, sugary. Yeah, very, mm -hmm. Mm, very tasty, yeah. smelling. Uh, all right, like cinnamon. Yeah, I definitely get the baking spice from the nose carrying through mm -hmm. with that rich, caramely, kind of oily thing going on. Wow. Finish goes on for a minute, a little toasty in there. I guess sort of the grape cherry thing from the nose mm -hmm. kind of carrying through as well. I think we're dealing with something over 100 proof here. It's got I'd some perception so. of proof. It's good. It's tasty. All right, B, let's see what you can do. Completely different. So different. <laughs> Completely Not what different. I was expecting. This has got a lot more earthy. There's something dark and it smells like tree bark. There is an- Crunchy. An, I don't know. An odd earthiness to it. Not like when we normally say earthiness. But it doesn't smell like toasty oak and wood sugars. It smells like tree bark. It's like a honey molasses sort of, or honey sorghum maybe. It's uh, unique. It's different. Okay. It has a nice texture. Mm -hmm. And that earthy, little bit bitter. Yeah. Dried wood. It's- A little tannic. A little bit. It's different. <laughs> it also has some heat to it, but uh, in a much different way. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm getting used to like, after the second sip, I'm getting used to that like tannic wood forward finish. But I mean, A is just gonna be really tough to beat. I wanna go it back is. again. We're gonna go back. There you are, old friend. Yeah. I got a little bit more lemon on the mm. on the nose and the sip of A this time. For me, I don't think I need any more sips. Uh, me either. Okay. I'm gonna it's vote gonna be A. a. <laughs> We both voted for A. Advancing is Weller Antique 107, and it beat out another weeder in oh. Old Elk Weeded. I don't think I'm very familiar with that one, which mm. makes sense as to why I'm like, what is this? Yeah. I mean, 107, you guys voted it in. Uh, it was, it, we always said, if, if you can't find it, don't vote for it. It was still voted it in. Got it got a huge number of votes. It, it made it in, and it is tough to beat. It is. Also hard to find, but. You did say some uh, pretty standard Buffalo Trace uh, nosing and tasting notes on that one. Grape. That's the way it goes. All right, well, we'll see you all tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon. These are both blind to us. All we know is that this is bourbon A. Hmm, light. Woodsy oak. It smells like a spring meadow. A little bit of like cinnamon candy, red hots almost in the background. A little bit of even like leather. This one's definitely got some layers. It does. I want to drink it. Oh, yeah. Oak on the, on layers, the palate. Yeah, the layers of flavor, definitely. Do you get that like cinnamon candy almost though in the middle there? Oh, yeah. Okay. A little bit, I not see overly that. hot. It's just really a little bit. Concentrating on the barrel. Barrel sugar is really, I mean, it's it's not deep dark oak, it's more like aged oak. Mm -hmm. Almost like, yeah. you know, we've gotten in some over 12 year old Maybe. things. Maybe. I could see, I could see, you know, that 8 to 12 year range. It's got some heft to it, and not in terms of proof, but like it feels dense. Mm when it comes to the flavors, which again may, might make me think that it has a little bit of age to it. Yeah. But who knows? Second tip, I got more uh, fruit kind of on there, a little bit more brightness. Very brown sugar too. Yeah, very brown sugar. It almost, or maybe I'm wanting it to go more peanut butter, but it's almost going. You it's more, always want things to go peanut butter. Maybe it's more the texture here that I'm picturing. Something of the texture of like peanut butter, almond butter. There should be a count for mm. the number of episodes in which Chad doesn't say it's nutty <laughs> or peanut butter or wishes it tasted like peanut butter. <laughs> on to B. Very delicate. Delicate and um, zest. Lemon, yeah. Citrus zest anyway. Fresh pear. Ooh, sort of, I mean, honey. that delicate and then the, the lemon, it's almost like a lemon cake, like something real fluffy and a little bit of lemon icing on top. For me, it's more like lavender, pear, a little lavender bit of citrus. Oh, tea? There's a tea? Wow, all of those things come through to the palate. It is like, I, I picture like, we don't do tea time with lemon <laughs> cakes and lavender and, oh, and herbal teas now. and stuff. But if I was going to do that, if I was going to do tea time, this would be what I would pour. Yeah. It yeah, does. this is a spring day sitting out on a, uh, on a blanket in the meadow. Yeah, a picnic. It doesn't have that density that richness, um, the coating, and like those that perception of age that A had. But I do like it. 
it's bringing a lot. It's just, it's gonna be tough. It's more what are you in the mood for? Exactly. Because these are so different spectrums here. Oh, for sure. Different ends of it. Back to A. This is more like a hot cup of tea or a hot toddy. And this is more your delicate porcelain bone china teacup. I guess tea. I would call it, yeah, this A is a little bit more like comfy, snuggly at home. You know, you don't have to be around anybody. And B is more like garden party social. Both are nice. Dressed to the nines. Right, it just depends on if you want to go out or if you want to stay in. I'm gonna go back to B. Okay, one more time. Dang. I'm feeling like a hermit, so I'm gonna vote A. Yeah, me too. I'd like to stay in. I, I was getting ready to say, I feel like if B were up against something else, it would have it done would have won. well, yeah, yeah. but. Advancing for us is Bell Mead Reserve Cast Strength. Oh. <gasps> oh, against Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Weeded. Oh, 100 dang. proof bottle to bond. Ah. <laughs> Both really, really good. Shoot, yeah. I really thought that, I think I had the Bardstown Bourbon it's Company a, advancing. Yeah, I had the Bell Mead. It is delightful. It, it really is. Well, we're also talking about a difference in proof yes. here, too. We've got the Cast Strength Bell Mead against the Bardstown, which is 100, 100 proof. So. Bottom bond. Well, there you go. We hope to see you next time. Until then, drink more bourbon. Hey, before we get into this episode, we want to pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing, not the t-shirt that Sarah's wearing, but the hat that I'm wearing. Uh, both of our Glen Cairns, our water glasses, rocks glasses, copitas, uh, coins, that uh, 100K coin and more. Bottle cut candles and more, actually. Always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunities to participate in one of those picks potentially, uh, discounts on that merch depending on your tier and more. These are blind to us. We know this as bourbon A. Lemon? I think I'm Meadow. getting- Meadow? Lemon? 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 Question mark, question mark. Who put question marks in the teleprompter? I'm getting a lot of like dark blackberry, blueberry. You're not getting brightness, citrus. No, I, I do get that okay. also. Yeah. I was just trying to give another oh, okay. point of view. I like it when you agree with me. Oh, I do agree. Interesting. Maybe a little savory in there too. It's kind of a Yeah, it has a slight pepper note too. Ah. All right. It's different. Hmm, very good, Chad. Um, no, I like it. I need another sip. I still get a lot of that berry on the palate. It has a tiny bit of an herbal quality. Yes. It's almost medicinal, but it's not. Right. I think it has a nice texture, hmm. although it's still pretty light. I think it it's comes lower across proof. pretty light. Yeah. yeah. Not a, a super long finish. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a also a different type of earthiness underneath there as well. Uh, yeah, I think that's that like herbal, earthy, yeah. almost like a vegetal yes. note. How about B? More of the old familiar, yeah. right? Woodsy notes. A little more classic, but it's got some things in common with A, like the brightness, the citrus pop. There's a little bit of citrus on the nose, but I think it's like balanced out by bigger caramel presence. Yeah, maybe presence. a little bit more balanced, I would say. And earthiness as well. I'm getting a little bit more of a walnut yes. note. I was um, gonna say nutty, <laughs> but there is a walnut. I'll go with walnut. I'll be more specific when yeah. it comes to that. There's like an earthiness, a walnut. A walnut. -ness. Mixed in with that, again, caramel, touch of baking spice, citrus, barrel, woodsy. Also some black earthy. pepper. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, this one is a go... lot closer than a couple of previous episodes uh -huh. have been. I gotta go back to A. Well, B has it for the nose I agree for with me. that. A has it for the mouthfeel. It does. Slightly. Now it's gonna come down to the finish, I feel like. B has more of the flavors that I like, and it has the nose, but I think A has the mouthfeel and the finish. Yeah, I gotta go back to B second time. The only thing about B that's getting a ding for me, mm. I like that walnut note, I like the caramel, a little bit of baking spice. A little savory. Pepper, whatever, that little bit of savory. I like all those things. I think it thins out towards the finish. But honestly, on this one, I could probably go either way. They're both really tasty. So I think what's con what I'm struggling with here is that B has more of the classic flavors that I really like, but I do think like what you get on the nose, it translates to the palate, but then it's thinner. Not my typical flavor profile, but I think it, I think I might lean that way. Okay, here's what it is for me, and this is only gonna make the YouTube episode, so this is for you guys. These are both songs, and A is a genre of music that I don't listen to as much. I listen to the genre that B is giving more, mm -hmm. but A is a better written song. I agree. That's yeah. a that's a good analogy for what oh, I said. Well, thank you. <laughs> I like to give them analogies, you know. I know, you like to relate it back Makes to Makes me seem culture. wise. It seems like we're gonna go with A. We're gonna go with A. For the, I don't know, with time in a row, people will say it's set up. <laughs> 
Oh, it's a 50 50 chance. 50 50 chance, people. Advancing is Smoke Wagon Small Batch, and it beat out Heaven Hill Seven Year Bottled and Bond. Wow. That is. That actually makes sense. That walnut note now that I was getting on B. <sighs> yeah. That's that Heaven Hill Nutty. Uh huh. I'm a little bit surprised. Yeah. But I don't think it's a bad thing. No, I mean, it is what it is. It, I don't think it's what I predicted, but that's why we do things blind, right? This is correct. Okay, this is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Uh, all right, well, we'll see you guys next time. Until then, drink more bourbon. There's some things to unpack here. Fruity. Dark blackberry, like real, like blackberry syrup. Almost bubble gum. I could also see like a great bubble tape. Mm -hmm. Six feet of fruit for you, not oh, them. Geez. Interesting, I wanna taste it. Very, very dark berry. Wow. And very. oak and a little bit of tobacco. I mean, that's almost jam. Yeah, it, it's like a blueberry blackberry jam. With Tobacco, With oak yeah. and tobacco, mm -hmm. the oak is a little bit tannic on the finish. It goes a little dry. Oh, this is a... a uh, little, not bitter, but mm. a little... It leaves your tongue on the sides feeling like bitter. What do they call those flavored cigars? Like a Swisher Sweet or... Uh, <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> sort of tobacco, the fruitiness, anyway. Yeah. It coats... Stand by that. But everything else, pretty great. On to B. That's a more classic nose. Also it's bright and fruity. It's a little perfumey for me. It does have some perfume. Oh, there's a little banana runts. This is dried flower petals. I do think it has a nice texture. Yeah, pretty good mouthfeel on it. You know, there's, mean, there's some barrel underneath the, the, floral. The, the floral and the brightness. When you dig into it, yes, it's there. Well, I kind of want to go back to A. Yeah, I appreciate the nose more and the mouthfeel and the finish. A just mm. has richer, darker. It feels like it has a little bit of age to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get that with the tobacco and the oak, mm -hmm. and I really appreciate that. I, yeah. I like those flavors coming through. And the more I sip it, the less I get of that tannic. I would say that that really falls away, that like yeah. bitter tannic on the sides of my tongue. Uh -huh. I think that might've just been like first sip thing. Okay, uh, pretty good matchup, I feel like, between these two. I think so. Um, I'm gonna go with A. I, I'm also gonna go with A. What is advancing for us is Wilderness Trail six year weeded against Penelope Toasted. I did not pick oh. up that that was a Toasted. Oh, Penelope, dang, okay. Well, we know we like their Toasted stuff because yeah. we've done a Toasted pick with them before. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we uh, have. And they make some great stuff. Yeah. I, I particularly like the architect. All right, well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, drink more bourbon.